Oh, okay, this is the serious one now. <clears throat> um, you know, because that boy's calling me a crazy person and crack head, just whatever. I don't do crack. Um, I did a long time ago, but I was off it for a while. Then I got out of mess and haven't been able to get off of it at all. And then I went to Salt Lake City in September with people, two people out there that are spiritually inclined, you know, they're um, Chad Davis, John Chad Davis, and um, Brett Jones. They, were, they took me out there, they don't do drugs, and they um, <clears throat> didn't have any friends that did them. Um, and so I got clean for 44 days. But then the Chad guy was alcoholic, which he's clean now, by the way. Woo but then he was really just, you know, he got violent and stuff. He was <clears throat> drinking, so I had to leave. Then I came back to Vegas and I started doing it again. Like $20 every couple of days because that's all I can really afford because I, you know, um, the past three years I've been a client, you know, with John. I stayed with him in my own room. I had the internet. I had my dogs. So I had food, cigarettes. And he gave me $100 a week. And every week I spent that $100 on shit. And then, um, you know, I had food and cigarettes. And did. Anyway, so that was before I went to Salt Lake City. And then I come back and so. Now I'm back on my own again. Like I said, I'm a caretaker for a lady that has cancer, and um, I'm also picking up a part-time waitressing job. <clears throat> I have an interview tomorrow. Um, so, uh, so anyways, like I know I have to um, because certain times I might have been disillusioned, you know. Um, but I know that I'm on the right track about what I'm talking about. But still, I mean, I, I can't expect to be the Earth Mother if I'm like this. I know. And so I was going to um, like say, okay, well, I'm going to tell you guys and I'm going to get clean in front, like every day and then check in and say, okay, you know, and then go through the, <laughs> everything on the camera. That way you guys will see, you know, and if I screwed up or if I failed um, and did it, I would be able to face you. I mean, you would know. So I would not fail because I would be every day having to tell you guys, hey, I'm day this, day that, and then to come back in and say, okay, it's <laughs> fucked up. That's just too humiliating and shameful. So I was going to wait until, like, when I ran, you know, my 20 was gone. That asked me a couple days. Then I was going to say, okay, today. I was going to say, okay, um, now I don't have any more. I'm going to start being sober today, and we're going to do it now. But then I got another 20. And so I figured I'm going to have to start. I can't wait. I mean, if, for me to start, like, you know, this um, getting sober on camera and go through all the withdrawals on camera to keep me from relapsing. I can't wait until I quit in order to start because I'm not going to be able to, I obviously don't do it unless, um, so I'm going to try this. I'm going to try so that I don't relapse um, every day checking in with you guys. But I'm going to tell you what though, i got a fat 20 left and I'm going to fucking party my ass off. How much ever you can do it. I'll probably just end up cleaning the house again, but I already did that, so. Um, and it does affect your brain, I'm sure. Because if you guys took me on as a pet project, like the government or the Masons or Washington D.C. or the Hells Angels or um, somebody, you know, we turn and I could get um, go through the regiment and get pure and stuff. You could even take like um, X-rays of my brain, like now, and everybody could see what my brain looks like now from all the damage. And then after three months, look and see, you know, like a before and after. <clears throat> because um, you know, I promised you guys a miracle, and I promised I would take care of you in this world. And I can't do it unless I, you know, get myself healed. But I haven't been doing a good job of healing myself. I want to love and take care of everybody else, but as far as doing it for myself, I just, you know, it's like, come get me, I'm getting on my nerves, you know. Anyway, so, like I said, um, now I made my um, um, confession, and, and now I made my promise, and so now I'm going to be, after tomorrow, <laughs> starting, um, so just so you know, closure, whatever. Like I said, if I waited until I stopped doing it before I, you know, came out and told you that, that I would never get to it. And no, I don't shoot up. Do not. I usually put it in my coffee or sort it. <laughs> and me smoke. Be some pipe. You know what else, too? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this, too, because, well, for my, my drug testing for my job, but also, um, well, maybe, do I have to smoke, stop smoking weed, do you think? Yeah. You, I mean, while I'm going through, what do you guys think? Maybe you could write your suggestion or your opinion and tell me, do you think that 
I have to stop smoking weed too. Or you think I could like smoke weed to help me get through get through the withdrawals of the meth? Because um, I'll do whatever you guys, well not whatever, but I don't know. Because I love my weed and it does, but it also makes me lazy and I pick out, oh my god, I just, I get a butt like a couch. It's going to be real hard to fucking, it's going to be real hard to fucking. I love you guys, I really do, and I'm sorry I'm such a mess of fail. I mean, I'm ashamed, I'm embarrassed, I really am. I'm ashamed of myself, and I know that I haven't done things right. Um, George Bush, I love you, I know you're a good man, and I know that you just want to get up there and be the puppet, and you tried everything, everything, to, to help the world see that you didn't want to say what you were saying. I know that you hated that. Um, you even got drunk and went on up in front of the camera just so the people would know, look, and you know, it's so obvious that every, you did not want to say what you were saying and it was so hard for you. But guess what? Um, Ronald Reagan and um, Arnold Schwarzenegger became the president and the governor. So why can't the ex-president become the earth father and really do your job? You know what I'm saying? Now that you don't have to take orders, you can do it your own way. Now you could get out there and really take care of us as an earth father. You'll be an excellent earth father. I always said so. Because you're one of my favorites. You're, I've always said George Bush and you're really the only one that I still have um, respect for as far as, um, the, okay, I love you guys, and um, I'll see you in a couple days, okay?